Using bulk edit to make changes on some content topic properties is more efficient than making the changes on the individual topics. The properties, can be ed the properties that can be edited using bulk edit are adding dates and restrictions, changing the topic from published to draft or draft to published, delete topics, and completion method. You can use the bulk edit at the table of contents level, individual modules, or individual sub-modules. To use bulk edit, click on the course content tab on the nav bar. So I want to show you at the table of contents level. So if I click on table of contents, and then I click bulk edit, what you'll notice is that all of the properties for the all of the modules open up in one place so I can make changes on all of those in one place. The ones you can't do are on the sub modules. To add to edit dates and restrictions, you simply click on the add dates and restrictions, add your dates, your due dates, any conditions you want, and then click update. You'll notice that I can go to the next module, add dates and restrictions, without having to leave this area and without having to click an, a lot of extra clicks. To edit, uh, to change individual topics from published or draft or draft to published, you go to the individual topic, click on the published and change it to draft, or if it's already draft, change it to published. So as you scroll down, you'll be able to see all of the properties for these particular modules and change every single one at any place that you want. To delete a topic, simply click on the trash can icon. Again, what's really nice is I can do multiple ones in the bulk edit without having to click um, a, a little, a little uh, context menu. Finally, the last property is what's called the completion method. So that's required automatic, required manual, or not required. You click on that and make your choice. What this deals with is um, whether this is tracked or not tracked. The last property you can change is when it deals with um, links to other web pages. So you'll see on some of these, you'll see where it says open an external resource. That's a very useful thing to be able just to go through and make those changes. Items that don't have that on there are things like quizzes and drop boxes and um, things that are not linked to web pages of its content. When you're all done, click Done Editing. And all the sa changes are saved. If you want to make changes to an individual module, then you would click on the name of the module and click Bulk Edit. And when you do Bulk Edit on an individual module, all of the sub-modules within there and all the properties within that sub-module will also open up. If you just want to do it on an individual sub-module, click on the name of the sub-module and click Bulk Edit on the sub-module. And again, make any changes you want to the individual properties and click Done Editing. So Bulk Edit is a wonderful time-saving tool that you should use when you want to make changes to multiple topics within a module, within the entire course or within a sub-module.